In this video, I'm going to share with you the secret to progression in sports. I made a little chart here, or a graph, whatever you want to call it. This is most people's idea of how to progress, right? They start out, and they try to get shortcuts. They try to jump their way to the top. Boom, boom, boom. But if you've played sports for a while, you will know that's not how it works. In sports, this right here, that jump does not exist. You can't just shortcut it, right? Let's take basketball for an example. Instead of being able to jump here, there's a wall. Let's say you want to become a better shooter. Well, you can't just become a better shooter without shooting a lot of shots. No, there's little walls here. You might have multiple. You know what? This is your bad foot placement. This is your elbow being flared out. And this is having no confidence in your shot. I'm going to erase some of these circles here because I know there's a lot going on now. Right? These walls build up. And you can't just shortcut it. I've had a lot of comments from people asking me, Hey, Mark, I saw your last video and I saw that you've become a better three-point shooter than before. And how did you do that? And I tell them every single time, like, just work hard. Just practice. And then I get the comments, well, okay, yeah, other than that, because I already do. Well, then maybe you're not working hard enough. Or maybe you're not working smart enough. Let me show you something, okay? A lot of people will base their training on the amount of time they spend in the gym. Let's say, oh, I spend, let's say, three hours. I spend three hours in the gym every day. Oh, good for you, pal. But how much of that three hours is actually productive? I'll say, you know what? I'll be kind one and a half hours okay let's say i go to the gym for two hours how much of my time is productive two hours so who do you think is going to improve more over time the person that spends more time in the gym or the person that spends less time but is more efficient i'm going to go with this guy because two hours is more than an hour and a half. So stop basing your workouts on how much time you spend doing it. That was something that I did when I was younger. I was like, okay, well, I practiced for five hours yesterday. Surely that's gonna make sure, you know, I'm gonna be much better in the future if I keep doing that. No, dude, you walked around through most of the drills. You didn't do it at game speed. If you wanna actually see this kind of growth, if you wanna see that kind of exponential growth, you need to do a few things. And I'll tell you them right now. First things first. I'm going to turn this so I can write it down for really fast for y'all. Excuse the bad handwriting because I'm writing fast. First one. Game speed. I need you to practice at game speed, bro. I'm telling you, I cannot tell you this enough. The biggest improvements in my game came when I started practicing at game speed. For the longest time. I was averaging like two points a game on varsity whenever I got minutes because I was struggling to get minutes. And then I practiced at game speed for an offseason and I scored 410 points in one season. Now that's not the most points in the world, but that's a lot more than 13 that I had in my sophomore season. I averaged more points a game than I got in my whole sophomore year. Think about that. Okay, so practice at game speed, number one. Number two. have a plan there's a quote plan your work work your plan if you go out to do a workout and you don't know what you're going to do until you get there it's probably not going to be efficient that goes back to the analogy that i gave you before three hours in the gym versus two and a, or two hours of efficient work which one is better the two hours would beat the hour and a half of actual work right and especially if you're just kind of going through the motions with that hour and a half, like, it's not going to be good, okay? Next one. <clears throat> B. 
be a student. You have to be a student of the game. I need you to go on YouTube and look up all the educational basketball content you can find. I want you to find the the stuff that's in the archives, bro. I want you to find those old Michael Jordan master classes about basketball. I want you to find every Kobe Bryant interview you can find. I want you to find every single piece of information that you can find because it is out there, right? I want you to learn footwork. I want you to learn how to be obsessed over the game, how to study film. Look at that stuff. And I know it might be a bit boring. I'm going to be honest, right? You, could, you might rather watch a Mr. Beast video, but... If you put in the time, you'll reap the reward. You reap what you sow. So be a student is the third part of that. And honestly, there's not much else to it, okay? Do not overcomplicate it. Everybody else is looking for these shortcuts, okay? These shortcuts do not exist, okay? You know what? Fine. You might say, oh, well, what about the people that have, you know, like, they're just really tall. They they just have good genetics. Well, okay, fine. Maybe they start here instead of down here. But they still can't just get up here without work. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard, my friend. So, instead of looking like this and getting stuck in a plateau every, like, day, <laughs> why not put in the hard work, go at game speed, and watch your game progress really fast. That's my two cents on it. And look, man, if you like what I'm saying, I got more videos on this channel that may help you. And I have a Discord top link in the description. You can ask me questions directly. But as always, keep God first. Good luck, bro. I'll see you, man.